A common question for Instacart shoppers, can I enter someone's house? I have some answers for you. I'm Brian with Bulldog Delivers. Let's hit it. And here I am in my 2014 Honda CRV. This is not my normal vehicle. This is actually my wife's car. I'm using it while my other vehicle gets totaled out. Uh, it's just been a big mess. I actually hate this car. Um, I really do. It's too small for me. And uh, I just don't like the way it handles in the rain and all that kind of crap. So uh, she, she can have this thing back as soon as I get a replacement vehicle. Whatever that will be. Insurance company dragging their ass through the grass as usual. Um, this is becoming a common theme for me now. It's been over a month. And I still have no check from them. And uh, the uh, appraiser just finally got around to looking at the vehicle yesterday. And uh, we talked on the phone and he gave me his assessment and he's already lowballing it. So I'm going to have to fight that one when I get the actual um, uh, written whatever uh, determination uh, from the claims representative who I've been dealing with. And uh, this is going to go on for a very long time. But hey, at least I've got this vehicle. I'm getting the job done in it. As much as I dislike this vehicle, it's better than a little passenger car. Believe me, I, I just, oh my God. So anyway, I have to talk to you uh, raw. No editing on this video today because my computer went, Pfft. yeah, it just went, ha, fuck you. It said, I'm going to quit on you right now because, you know, I just feel like it because you don't have enough on your plate. So here, let me make your life miserable and let me just crash. So it did. I fortunately got a call back from a local computer shop that I've dealt with before who are very reasonable and uh, who don't try and sell me a whole bunch of stuff and they're actually competent. So um, luckily, it's just a reinstall of Windows takes about two hours because they've backed up all my data. They're going to put all the data back on the computer. And when I get it back, it should be pretty much ready to go. All the hardware checks out on it, which is great. The hard drive health is good. Everything else is great. I am relieved because I do not want to go shop for another computer. Fortunately, I do have a laptop computer, which is great. And, um, that's my backup because that's going to help me get through my radio gig next week if the computer is not back in time for that air shift. And I'm just looking at a um, waiter order. I'm going to decline that because that's less than two bucks a mile. Okay, so let's get right to it, shall we? Uh, can you enter somebody's home as an Instacart shopper? The short answer is yes. Do you have to? That answer is a flat out no. Um, this is your call. This is your decision to make. Uh, Instacart's policy is and has been to say that this is not a requirement uh, for the shopper to enter somebody's home. Uh, however, you can do so if you feel like it. So there is a dilemma that that creates because during the pandemic, Instacart really strongly discouraged us from entering people's homes. And I gotta say, I did it a few times. An old lady or somebody who's obviously disabled, broken arm, broken leg, yeah, no problem, I'm going in. But I go in and I get right back out. I drop the stuff right where they tell me. And if they wanna converse with me, I'll do it outside the door. And I still pretty much practice that. Um, Although I do find myself going into houses a little more frequently for able-bodied people. And the majority of the, that reason is because they're tourists. And I have a wagon full of groceries. And it's just easier for me to, to wheel it right into their condo unit. Um, again, I always ask them, would you like me to bring this inside for you? Or I can just unload it out here. And I leave it up to them. Because in a lot of cases, these people are high tippers. They just arrived into, into town and uh, th they like it. And sometimes I even get a few extra bucks. And I got a lot of cash tips for doing just that last weekend. So it's, uh, again, it's entirely dependent on you. Um, young ladies, I understand. You got a single guy there who's either old or young or whatever, I can understand the uneasiness because, you know, there's the perpetual old perverts out there, right? 
and then you have a younger guy who can overpower you. So again, that is completely your call. Here's the flip side of that though. If you don't do it, you risk a low rating and you also risk a lower tip. So you're damned if you do and damned if you don't in that situation. Here's the way I would look at it for, for those of you who would struggle with that. It's better for you to go home to your family than it is to get that tip. That's the bottom line. So, uh, you know, trust your instincts, trust your gut. If something doesn't feel right, just say, no, sir, I do, I, I'm, I, I'm not able to enter your home. I'm gonna leave stuff right here. Would you like me to place it right inside the door for you? In a lot of cases, that makes people very happy. Uh, on the occasions that I do go into a home, I don't lollygag, I don't unpack the bags, and I don't put anything away for them. Although, I will do it for heavy items. Like there's this one customer that I deliver to, she's a shipped customer, and uh, she's someone I've served for three years now, and she's a very great lady, and she's disabled. And she likes to buy a uh, a pack of uh, a case of beer, and it's heavy for her to lift. So she asked me if I can put it in her fridge for her. No problem. Everything else just put on the counter. I'll take care of it. All her canned goods, boxes, and the like. So I'm happy to do that for her because she's a great tipper. And again, as soon as I put it in the fridge, I start walking to the front door. We converse out that way. So um, that's just what I do. I, I I it's a comfort level not only for me but also for the customer, because after all, you are a stranger in their house, and um, I just don't want to in any way project any kind of discomfort uh, for them, so that's why I start making my way right back out the door as soon as I'm done unloading, placing things on the counter, placing things on the table, whatever. Now, would you put something away for somebody? I have offered to do that before. There was a guy in a wheelchair and he was all alone. And I asked him, would you like me to put anything away for you? Would this make your life a lot easier? And that's the way I, I add to it. Would this make your life easier? Because in that case, I really was genuinely concerned. I didn't care what the tip was at that point. I just saw, here's a guy who's had some very bad luck recently. And um, he, he, he was obviously all alone. So if there was something I could have done to make his life easier, he said, no, you can just leave it right there on the counter. I did. I left it close to the edge of the counter so it was easier for him to, to grab because he wanted to feel like he was doing something, I'm sure. And that's fine. He didn't want to feel helpless. That's okay. I offered and he told me what he wanted. He's the customer. He gets what he wants. So... Yeah, yeah, those are cases where I'll do it. Um, other occasions, and this has happened to me a few times last year, and I've already done it a couple times this year. Summer tourist season, people are driving into town. They're not in town yet, and I'm I'm about two hours ahead of them. And they're saying, we're, we haven't arrived yet. We don't know when we'll be there. Well, they have a whole bunch of cold stuff, and I live in Florida. It's hot, okay? And care, doesn't matter if I live in Arizona, hot there too. So anyway, I am, uh, so then I work out a, a, a plan with them. Uh, a lot of times these people are renting houses or they're renting condos. And I will ask the, uh, the renter, you know, the vacationer, the customer, can you call your property manager and see if they will let me in and I can put at least put your cold stuff away. And Every time, the answer is yes, they do that for me. And it's worked out very, very well every single time. Uh, these property managers want to keep their customers happy because they are, you know, these, these people are spending $10,000 a week or more on renting a house. And it's just important uh, to keep them happy too. Oh, freaking heck is this 28.7 miles for 11 bucks to do a GameStop order that's a flat out no so anyway um yeah so I've done that a few times and I always make the offer happy to do it supervised happy whatever whatever works for you and and nine times out of ten uh there is somebody there working who is either house cleaning or whatever. So 
Okay, this is interesting. Applebee's up there. Uh, nope, Applebee's. I always have to wait. And it's about a buck twenty a mile. Mm, no. Nope, not at all. I'm actually sitting out front of one of my favorite restaurants because there's no BS here when these people um, have an order ready. It's ready. So anyway, uh, yeah. So those are situations where you can help save your order because, you know, a lot of times that this will happen to you where you're standing to make 50, 60 bucks on an order. That's a flat out no already. I don't even care uh, if it's less than 10 bucks. I ain't taking it today. So the, um, unless it's like one mile or something like that, I'm not doing it. So yeah, I have saved a lot of orders that way, uh, for doing it. Uh, <laughs> and again, it's just one of those things where you'll have to ask the customer, contact your property manager and see if they'll, they'll let me in. Sometimes you may have to go get a key to the unit. I've had to do that. No problem. Gone in there by myself. Or another time I had a house, the manager gave me the, 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 the punch pad code for the door. And then I said, I'll let you know when I'm leaving. He says, I'll know when you're leaving. I'm like, oh, okay. And so I did. I would thank him when I was done. And that's a buck a mile. Nope. And so uh, it, these are just things that, that do good because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see them again. You know, these are houses that have turnover every week. And it's possible I'll see them again in a couple of weeks. So again, entering a house entirely your call on Instacart platform, shipped. I don't recall seeing anything ever written about it on there, um, but I do it. You know, a customer asked me to do it. I, I don't think twice about it. Uh, again, when I walk in the door, this is what I do. Uh, again, it's all about awareness, situational awareness. This is how you should be, whether you're inside, outside, wherever you are, always know what's going on around you. And uh, so I walk in the door, I do this, and I look towards the back of the house and I start scanning. I just scan the room real quick. What am I looking for? I'm looking for two things. Number one, is there anybody else in there? And I start making mental notes just in case there is, and most times there is not. Number two, I start looking for an exit route. If I can't get out the way I just came in, is there another way for me to go? Is there a back door that's visible? Or is there a sliding glass door that, God forbid, I have to take a chair and bust through it? Now, here, unless you have impact resistant glass, which here in Florida would not be an uncommon thing to do, to have. So at that point, you've got another battle on your hands. You better be able to take care of yourself. So um, th these are just realities. I've never had a situation come up like that where I felt unsafe or, or threatened going into somebody's house. But these are thoughts that do go through your mind. They've probably gone through yours. Um, I've seen debates about this. Uh, there's also some people that might be concerned, well, what if somebody reports something stolen? You know, anything can happen, all right? <laughs> I mean, you can go into all the what ifs, what ifs, what ifs, what ifs, what ifs. And, you know, you, you could play that game all day long. Are you going to let that get in the way of your success? I don't. I, I, I really don't. I just, I trust my gut. Fortunately, I do have a lot of good instincts. And, uh, you know, I go with it. And it's worked out perfectly for me each time. So I do hope that helps you. I hope you have a great weekend. I wanted to get this video up and out for the weekend because I'm putting my head down and go. It's Blue Angels week here in Pensacola, Florida, and uh, the Blue Angels uh, Pensacola Beach Air Show is Saturday with the dress rehearsal on Friday, and that is just a big flipping deal. It, it, I mean, people come in from out of town all over the place, and there's just a lot of stuff happening so uh it, it's a fun thing if you haven't been there i would strongly suggest you try it one year uh hotels fill up like a year in advance so that's how how crazy it is but man it's a spectacular experience and i'm fortunate that i get to live here and i can just drive on the beach and drive off i give myself a lot of extra time i don't do anything else that day and 
it, it's it's a blast. So anyway, I hope that helps you. Have a great weekend. I'm Brian with Bulldog Delivers. Until next time, go get them.